Hey guys, welcome to episode two of Ed's Head, a uh, little bit of a show where I go through random screenshots I've taken and uh, tell a bit of a story behind why I've taken them. We'll uh, just start with a basic folder here. few images we'll just start scrolling through and let's see if we can tell a bit of a story this one's in regards to common law and the uh, common links between them with a lot of these truther guys seems uh, every time I turn around there's somebody else pushing law for rebellion or the Magna Carta or any of these uh, red flag laws that are linked into common law so there's uh, plenty of groups around that you'll find at the moment um, it's the same handful of people leading them. Uh, if you have a close look, you, you've got the red flag over here on the 99 Unite banner, as well as the two common law court logos. So, very sneaky, but it's there. You know, you've got the Great Australia Party, the Gap Party, or well, they've just joined up with the OSTF, who is supposed to be representing uh, Indigenous sovereignty. But um, I haven't had any clear answers there the corporate side is uh pretty muddy water and uh it seems that these guys are going around in a partnership with these guys you know the old wayne glue and uh seem to be tying up a few loose ends whilst a few other things are put in place now uh, this is the ostf that I'm talking about, where they're going around acting like it's the, in, the Indigenous original caretakers serving the government and telling them they've got no right to be there, but it's under the guise of common law, which they really need to explain. Uh, it's interesting that Joel, Ricardo's mate, has shared this. Um, another random post, The Lion Australia. You'll see this uh, coming up. You know, in a previous Ed's head, we're talking about Tanya Morgana. I'm pretty sure she's uh, associated with that one. But um, I noticed it sneak into a few little things. And uh, speaking of Tanya, for someone that uh, didn't claim who to know who I was, well, uh, here she is asking to join a couple of groups that I admin or mod. So she's been trying to suss me out for a while. Today was the first time I laid a comment and um, instantly got blocked for it. You know, just asking where she stands with common law and the red flag. Ryan Rico is another one. He pretty sure he's blocked me today. Um, it's funny, these things tend to go in groups. It's never just one person. Word tends to travel up and down the grapevine. So Ryan, I'd love to know why you blocked me, mate. No, I do understand I shared a post where you were spruiking another young fellow that was selling crystals. But um, I can't see you blocking me for that, mate. So uh, what's what's your story there? You know, it's, I've seen you hanging out with Raph. I saw you walk through the protest and I've got that video where you pretty much bump into him and pretend that you don't know him. And then I've got another video where a few days you're, uh, you appear to be walking into a cop shop with him. So it's pretty clear you and Raph are mates. And Raph's also got me blocked after I made a few comments about a uh, contract. And that was just a few days after he offered to do a live video with me. We've got a video of that as well. You know, it's, it's not hard to back all this stuff up. And even if these guys want to delete it, it's, it's still available if you know where to look. So uh, here's Tanya again. No date on this one, but uh, this is her trying to spread bullshit about this dude, Brendan McKenna. Now, Brendan, he's, he's a bit loose, you know. He, there's, there's no filter if he thinks something, he'll say it. And uh, that sort of rubbed a few of these truths the wrong way. Now, how it got to the point that Tanya is saying this Brendan guy and his few supporters are not keeping people safe from harm. They're still pushing the false narrative. It's criminal and blatant propaganda against the freedom movement. Well, no, it's not. Um, I've only really heard him asking the same sort of questions I'm asking. So considering we're two independent people, 
that I haven't really collaborated to target any of you guys. Um, I find it interesting that our messages pretty much come out the same and we have the same sort of questions. Then the fact is you guys block us. So it makes us wonder more, what are you hiding? And just as a heads up, like I'm not going away. I'm pretty sure Brendan's not going away and I'm pretty sure there's a few other people that are asking questions as well that are not going away. So, uh, you better get your story straight and uh, come out with an answer. Otherwise, we're going to keep on hunting you common law folks and you fake protest organisers. You know, here's Mary Jane. I, I shared one of Brendan's posts and then I get a message saying that Mary Jane's a moderator for the Freedom Day group and apparently I have an anti-Freedom Day post on it. Was that a mistake? So I, I asked which one is Freedom Day again and still haven't had a reply. So here's Ryan. Sorry to randomise this up a bit. It might keep you a bit interested in paying attention. Follow, this, follow the randomised story. So uh, here's Ryan and that uh, post I spoke about a moment ago where he's uh, trying to get support for this young fella selling crystals. Now I've spoken to the young fella before. He just seems like a young fella. You know, he's, he's caught up in the emotion of it all and he sees anyone questioning as just being divisive. But that's a narrative he's being fed. I don't blame him. And uh, he's uh, allowing me to speak my truth, so I'll allow him to speak his truth for the time being. But uh, the problem is you don't know who in this little network is someone that you're spending time trying to get true to the truth and might actually have a bit of progress and conversation or if someone's got a hidden agenda and they're just trying to just discredit you or shut you up or waste your time like these guys are pretty hard to identify like that after a bit of time you figure it out but when things are constantly popping up on your feed and notifications it, it can be a bit of a distraction and it's a pretty good technique that they're using because it keeps us sort of in a call and response sort of spot rather than investigating what we want to investigate. So uh, this post I've got up now is a comment I made today about a Freedom Day post and I just requested to know if uh, Bossy was one of the Freedom Day organisers. And uh, Mary Jane Littercoats popped on and she said, not to my knowledge, but organisers are not all connected for safety reasons. I know one to two, however, Bossy, to my knowledge, is focused on building a political network. Freedom Day is organically created and many, many different groups coming together under the banner of freedom of human rights. There are clearly in intersecting interests and Bossy may well collaborate, but I do not know. I do know that Bossy has signed up to the Aussie Patriots Lawful Rebellion role to support the restoration of the lawful constitution to wipe the slate clean and start again. Now, I've checked back and this comment by Mary Jane since been deleted, so I'm waiting on a new one. We'll see what she's got to say this time. She claims to the best of her knowledge that uh, Bossy isn't involved. Well, I've got another video here with Romeo Georges walking through the Sydney protest with Ricardo and Joel and I've also got another two people confirming that Bossy's involved. Now what concerned me was with Bossy's uh, speech on YouTube if you search wake up Ricardo Bossy you'll see a uh, video and an hour and 21 minutes into it Ricardo goes into a question and answer session and during that session he uh discusses and explains a thing called systems warfare. Now, if you have a look at what's going on now with all these converging axes of common law, you'll be able to pretty much uh, figure out that Bossy's the main guy behind it or whoever's behind Bossy sort of thing. Um, could be linked up with Wayne Glue, you know, who's Bossy's just told everyone to go and sign up with on this uh, law for rebellion thing. And um, basically, what they're going to try and try and what they're going to try and do is uh, install common law through lawful rebellion. Now they've got people like the OSTF set up to take care of uh, the indigenous, and they've got uh, 
other people set up to take care of other factions, but all these guys have also set themselves up with businesses and pretty big not-for-profits in the meantime. Now, for people that are pretty sure the system's going to collapse and all that sort of stuff, it makes me wonder why they'd be setting up their businesses in uh, such, such a structured way. You know, either they're full of shit and they're just buying in and profiting off fear or they don't truly believe in their own message. So that's interesting. Um, here's just another random, you know, we are the 99% Commonwealth of Australia, red flag, sovereign citizens. Um, now, here's when I first discovered Ricardo Bosi back when he had 643 likes. That's all. So... Basically, I, I took a few screenshots of Bosey's early stuff. So that's November last year. And November last year, he's already talking about the Spartan thing and the Greek. Now, I can think of a Greek that's used the Spartan thing um, quite notably, who also had Ricardo Bosey on for the first ever live of his group. That was something that people don't really realize so um we just skip through you know we've got some afghan adventures with an australian soldier in the middle east well when you're in the middle east um i sort of wonder what you're up to you know now you've got australia one promoting fanos and then we can skip over. We've got this is a picture of Karen Brewer's wall, where at the same time we we were split because Karen started calling Fanos out for supporting Ricardo. So what happened is Ricardo's uh, Karen's ended up getting charged for defamation, having to do a payout. But being in New Zealand, they can't really get a hold of her to make a pay. But at the same time, it's raised the topic of these pedophile suppression orders, which no one's really doing anything about, you know. There's no calls for a um, an open uh, register for 100% uh, convicted pedophiles to be on or anything like that where, you know, people could sort it out. No, instead, we're just caught in this little uh, loophole where we, we can send letters away and identify ourselves. And that's um, achieved nothing over the last, what, eight months. Um, here we have James Bartolo. Um, he promotes and endorses um, Ricardo Bosi. You've got Raphael, who's one of the few that have liked it as well. You know, it's all one little circle here. Um, my first official interview from Fanos was with Ricardo Bossi. You know, so how did this dude end up on this Truth Seekers page and then end up doing the rounds with everyone else, as well as this Truth Seeker has the common law flags on the banner of his group, and this guy's just turned around and asked everyone to uh, sign up to Law for Rebellion. So, you know, the coincidences there that have ended up hashing out later on, it's um, pretty interesting. You know, what are the odds, eh? We've got such a small world and then everyone seems to be thinking the same. And these guys, if you have a look at the whole QAnon Trump narrative where uh, propaganda could be put out, you know, true or false, it didn't matter because the uh, source of it wasn't a viable source or credible source. But if it was that shocking and people wanted to believe it, there's nothing the politicians could have done, basically. So in this instance, you've got... Um, the old adrenochrome group, of course, um, getting sucked in by people with this red flag. You know, it takes that state of mind. Now, here's this dude, Juha. Now, he's been around for a while. He, he popped up when Fenos turned around and knocked back representing the red flag. As soon as he knocked that back in the common law stuff and said that he wasn't going to promote him, they attacked. And... They, they really attacked. Um, here's you are calling Fenos out, you know, calling him a shill, basically, because he won't support. Um, 
<laughs> so here's Tanya trying to tell Thanos that, you know, here's all the material, trying to help him understand, you know, what common law is. And I'm pretty sure Thanos had a good grasp of it. He just knew that it was pseudo-legal bullshit, knew not to support it, knew to distance himself. And so... So here's Tanya again. Now I understand why you are sovereign people of this country. You know, you true sovereign people, what well, was a big difference there. You know, we need to sit down at the table as allies with the true sovereign people. Simple as that. Tanya, you should know that. So um, here's Tanya again, you know, suggesting start with the Bill of Rights. You're an awesome help educating fan off. Say, Tanya, good work there. You know, in there with you, Har, and pushing the red flag and the common law. And you know, standing with Stephen Spires. Stephen Spires. Spires, that name sounds familiar. Karen Brewer, wasn't her maiden name Spires? You know, all the red flag stuff there. It's a very small fucking world. So now we've got Tanya actually sharing this you, Har's video. telling him once again what to do look here's a photo that i took of hers from this is probably from like february march april this year so tanya you've been on my radar for a while you should change your profile pic too it's been been that one for a while it's time for a bit of an update yeah um you know we can see that back even back then you know the second of june you were uh shedding the uh coat of clarity for a uh, bit of a cloak of shadows uh, we'll just skip forward um, and see Simeon Kassar now I followed him and watched him too like he reminds me a bit of uh, Pete Little at the moment where you've got a bunch of people that know what they're doing and they're winding up these gullible people and sending them out into the world as like a walking billboard for their agenda Yeah, simple as that. Have a look at the way Peter runs around. Have a look at who's pushing him. Have a look at who's been pushing him the whole time. Now, Peter runs around and he drags in all these people that identify themselves. I just wonder what they're being identified for. I uh, see there's Tanya again, you know, helping share the message. And Tanya, like I said, I've approved hundreds of your posts. I know who you are. I've watched you. Come on to a Zoom and have a chat with me. There's the invite. Anytime. You know, because this this whole patriot, one nation styled common law crap, you know, is, is just beyond a joke. As I said, I've saw what happened with Thanos the second that he stopped following it. Look, we've even got Stephen Spires here now posting in Thanos's group, telling people not to follow Thanos into a shit fight. See, Stephen Spires, Thanos. And then, then the slander just kept going. And then down here, you know, he's learning and wants what we all want. He's a good guy and has nothing bad to say about you and wants to understand. You know, so he wants to understand. So basically, oh, King Stephen, can you please explain the law to us? You know, all these followers that are buying into this pseudo-legal stuff. I'll tell you straight now, a magistrate's cause, not the court, isn't going to accept any common law. You know, and then to think that you can like overthrow that and create your own system. Well, that, that's a good idea, guys, but I can definitely see how you are setting yourselves up to benefit and control this. It's it's not right. Simple as that. I'm just an everyday, you know, shit kicker. No genius. But um, if I can figure this out, oh, I'm guessing ASIO and the cops and even the politicians would be on to you's. They'd see what you're up to. They'd see the protests going on in Sydney and Melbourne and they'd roll out those horses and riot cops to uh, put you straight back into line because 
this crap, this garbage that yeah, they're trying to push under the guise of freedom it is, you know, it's terrorism basically, if you want to look at it that way. Um, oh, that's interesting. So this Fisker Matthew, he popped up a couple of uh, weeks ago in one of our groups, caused a heap of uh, a distraction, you know, threatened to hang himself. And... Um, off he went. He popped up at the same time as this lady claiming that she is um, Kerry Packer's daughter. You know, like these two people pop up in our group that we've got nothing to do with common law and they, they create a massive distraction and they both come from the common law group. But you've got to ask yourself, were they sent as a distraction? Because looking back, you can see what they were uh, on about. You know, it's not, not for, for Facebook, you know, there, there should be hundreds of thousands of people on Facebook, but for some reason it's the same hundred or so people. And and you guys have noticed this too. You'd, you, you'd be seeing this, the same faces. It's, it's not algorithm. It's, um, it's just a really small world. So for them to think they're going to get a hundred thousand people, it's, you know, it's a good effort. But... So here we are, we have Vicky Victoria saying, please join this new group that works alongside 99%. So they're saying that the red flag works alongside. You've got the red flag on the banner, but then you've got Fenos that turned them down publicly. And then you've got Rukea who pumps some armor, who's been part of the 99, you know, the United Collective in 99, they started off pretty much the way I saw it. They started off on the same page. Um, I haven't figured out who called who in, but I have traced links back, you know, three, four years between certain people involved in the different groups. So there, there are links there. And when these guys were um, getting their group shut down, all of a sudden we get some armor popping up. Now I'm pretty sure that it was someone from United Collective that uh, actually owns some armor. And it's been a while since I've seen it plugged. And here we have Jackie Dundee. Notice the red flag. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd really, um, you know, and she posts this in an Indigenous governance group, like, that's just racist or ignorant. I would welcome you on for a call on a Zoom sometime too, Jackie, for a conversation. Because uh, I understand where you stand, you know, you feel bad for the farmers, you know, the exact same recipe as Romeo, basically. You feel bad for the farmers and um, you're a really good person and you're a role model and, you know, you're an Aussie battler, aren't you? But um, the only thing is I don't fucking buy it because of that red flag hanging behind you. You know, you, you want to talk about the original people or well, you want to acknowledge them too. To go back to that fucking law and not go back further to forget what happened in 1788 and create your own governance rather than an original governance, it's, it's, it's wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not going to be quiet about it. And I'm not going to go away. And... um. You know, people ask what my problem with Serene is and I'm like, well, Serene doesn't even realise she's being used, I think. I think uh, Australia One's come along, or someone has, and pretty much said, you know, you're doing an awesome job, keep it up, we love your work, and, and on she's gone. But uh, since then, that's been used as an example. Now, how she managed to give criminal law advice without being a criminal uh, lawyer I'm still trying to figure it out. And a few of these other things, like uh, why well, she's collecting money for class actions, which aren't even lodged. Um, you know, it's another interesting sort of topic. But yeah, with her, I just, you know, you know, them people that you like just have to shake your head and think, what the fuck are they thinking? Well, that's you, Serene. You know, open your eyes, look around you, see who's wound you up. Because once again, you're either too stupid to realise that you're, you've been tricked and lied to or uh, you're in on it. So I'd love to know which one it is. You know, uniting for Australian freedom. 
as rock as rock to you all the way to me because uh here you have australia one with your logo putting the australian flag over the top of it now that's that's a spiritual place for you to put your flag there and use it as a logo and call yourself australia one our best future mate that that in itself is an alarm bell And, um, you know, I love the, the marketing. You know, we've got you and Sasha Stone here, you know, Australia One Party. And um, at the same sort of time as you're doing your thing, Ricardo, we've got uh, old Wayne Glue, your mate, popped up with Raf. You know, he's also out there selling his books. You know, and the funny thing is, I think he's selling these books for 120 odd bucks when you can buy them for 60 or 70 bucks. So he's he's making a bit of profit there, old Wayne Glue. And he's made up books. And you got the OSTF with the Freedom Walk. So they're trying to do their own little Freedom Day. Basically. And um, men need money for it as well, so let's let's donate for Freedom Day. It's a bit a uh, bit strange, a bit sus, but uh, if you want to donate to them, you know, there's the donation details. Go for it. Now, Harrow Legal. Now, these guys here. I'll uh, do another video on the old United Collective. You might recognise a few faces, but um, they've they've gone out of their way to let let the protesters know that if you're in any legal trouble, that they can help. You know, so I'd love to uh, see how some of that sort of stuff turned out with these protesters. You know, given the full confidence that there's some sort of legal company behind them, to we'll see what support they were given. And uh, we've got Craig Cole here, another. You know, the Trump sort of narrative. Another interesting thing about Craig Cole is he's also the uh, representative and state coordinator for Australia One Victoria, which a lot of us aren't really told. But um, it, it's strange, you know, another truth that's in with Bossy. Ah, Tanya. Tanya, Tanya. Now, I noticed this a while ago when this this line draw the line thing popped up you were the main person i saw uh promote it and you're also announcing that you've you've gone international with canada usa and ireland so is that like the freedom march freedom parade and freedom day sort of links where you can sort of tie it into david ike and a few of these other people that are pushing the fear porn narrative to uh, try to incite people rather than inspire them because uh, I'm noticing a pattern here, Tanya, and I've had enough, mate. <laughs> I've seriously had enough. Come on a zoom. Let's have a chat because, um, you know, we got Dave on eggs with his red flag down there. We've got great Australia party, you know, Wayne glue, who they've all just gone and promoted with the red flag. You know, red flag. You've got this bloke with the People's Treaty. All right, starts this website up to take polls. I, I thought he was sort of legit, you know. He, he told a good story, but then I found out the bloke that actually paid for the website is one of the main common law um, advocates, a bloke by the name of Jim Greer paid for this and actually has access to all the polls too. So let's talk theoretically that um, Australia One and Gap and One Nation and all these crews join up. According to Bossy, they only need 20% of the vote to, and then 100,000 people to install law for rebellion and common law. So they're definitely trying. You know, there's a definite threat there. And I don't see it as a, as a real answer, replacing one British law for another British law. It's just not going to work. Sorry, guys. You know, I understand what the flag means to you, but 
it doesn't mean the same to me and it doesn't mean the same to a lot of people. And, and I think last year, hardly any of these people with the red flag as their profile picture would have even known what it was about. So your marketing's doing well, but um, it's all going to come falling down like a house of cards once you have to explain a few things. You know, we've got Fenos promoting Wayne Glue and Dave on eggs. And Wayne Glue is an expert on the Australian Constitution. You know, it's time we learn about Article 61, Magna Carta. What is lawful rebellion? So you've got Fenos now teaching everyone about lawful rebellion as Bossy's handing all his fans off to it as well. So if that's not promoting it, I don't know what is. So um, here's Fenos, Dave, and our Wayne Glue. But um, just real quick, when, when these protests sort of happen, they send out other people to target them. Now, this is Ryan Lyon. He, uh, he fucked up. He put my group in one of his posts saying that uh, somebody else was running it and associated to it. I sent him a message and I didn't really get a proper reply. Um, from what I can tell, he was sent out as, as a distraction, as damage control to uh, try and attack another person I know didn't really work you know you, you your whole team sort of fell apart on you and identified you for us so we figured out the little game there it was a bit of fun though thanks thanks for that keeping us entertained you know, James Bartolo I support Australia one party and Ricardo Bosi <laughs> why uh, we got Tanya doing a call to action uh, for the 25th protests. Uh, this is this is Jim Greer. This is the guy that has access to people's treaty polls. Now, if they wanted to redo their own constitution under common law, um, through the poll, they would have a viable way to do it. But the only problem is the poll is uh, corruptible. You can vote more than once. You can log in more than once. Yeah. You can you can corrupt the poll and bastardise it if you really wanted to. So once again, good luck with that, guys. Once I realised that it was a bit of a scam and started asking questions, you wanted to block me. That's cool. That's fine. You can block me all you want, but just know you can't shut me up. Now, uh, to change topic... This is just a photo I want to show you guys because um, this woman here doesn't deserve kids. You know, she, she's smiling, taking a photo. I, if that's her kid, she know, uh, if you know this woman and that is her kid, go slap her up the back of the head. I mean it. Because um, if you're going to let your kid walk up to a trained police horse, a trained riot police horse, while the cop is there shitting himself, telling the kid to back away because this horse will just stomp. You know, imagine what, what this would do to this little kid. It'd fucking kill her. Was that worth your fucking photo, love? Grow the fuck up, you know? And, and another thing, the Shrine of Remembrance. Why the fuck would you pick there as a protest site? You, you guys know that no media is allowed to film. Wouldn't you want the media filming? Wouldn't you want everything on film as much as possible? So why take that away? Why even use the Shrine of Remembrance? Oh, that's right. Well, let's just go back to um, all these common law clowns. What's the protest really about if it's at the Shrine? You know? And then who's set to gain from this? I'm sure some people are involved with ego. Look, here we are. Australia One State Coordinator for Victoria. Australia won. There's proof. Simple as that. Um, now, this, this message hoax that went around. Um, they were talking about the um, common law and having an interim government and all that sort of thing. And the text message went around in regards to Bosey. And now all of a sudden they're saying that, oh, it's a hoax. Okay. 
fair enough, it's a hoax. But the only problem is a few months later, Bossy comes out and endorses the exact same thing, but with Wayne Glue. So, you know, it was a pretty, pretty precise hoax. Um, just more propaganda. Uh, yeah, Nick Patterson. Okay, well, Nick, I noticed him because of his gym videos where he was getting shut down and harassed by police. And I thought, oh, that's that's unfair. How dare they? But, um, you know, after a little while of following him, I realised he was uh, pushing Karen Brewer's rhetoric. He was also pushing this common law stuff and a few other things. Now, you can see him here pushing Serene. So if I figured this out, I'm sure the cops and all that have figured this out. So for him to be targeted unfairly, you've got to, you know, draw into account the fact that he's running common law, like programs where he's teaching people pseudo legal bullshit, you know, based on belief rather than fact. And then you got to sort of like weigh up, is he really a victim here or is he um, being targeted because of his actions? So Nick, sorry, mate, but I just don't see you as the uh, innocent bloke I used to, and especially after doing those videos with Raf and Thanos. You know, there's some link there. Feel free to jump on and explain it to me as well, mate. Like, um, you can have a common law discussion with me as well. Anyone I speak about, more than welcome to uh, have a Zoom anytime. I'd love it. And we're back to Tanya. I think we uh, crossed through all this stuff in the first its head. Yep. I will uh, just mention this, Tanya. You know, I understand that... Um, you've got got a bit of respect, you know, but I just wonder why you uh, don't acknowledge that the land we're still standing on has been stolen, that a lot of us don't have permission to be here, whether we uh, acknowledge the traditional custodians or not. You know, it's about sitting down at the table and healing, understanding, listening not bringing in a red flag and saying, oh, this is a new common law now. You know, it's just ignorant. I understand we're all indigenous to this planet, but this country has a history and it should be acknowledged and respected. And uh, if you share a post like this, you don't acknowledge or respect what's really going on. I will come after you because I'm sick of saying it. A lot of people are sick of saying it. A lot of people know what's right. They don't need to learn all this pseudo legal bullshit that you're trying to force down people's throats. You know, we can see the agenda. We can see what's really going on. You saw my questions today about where do you stand? If you want to know why I asked them, because I saw the exact same thing going on with uh, the TPR crew as I saw go on when I was with the 99. You talk about people uniting and people being divisive. Well, my cards are on the table. Let's see yours. And on that note, I'll uh, call it quits. That's the end of uh, episode two of Ed's Head. Hope you enjoyed the random rants and uh, screenshots. If you'd like to see more, comment, share. If you don't, just unfriend me. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Ciao.